Welcome to Legacy of Leaders. I'm Dan Edelman, your host from Heritage Capital Group. At Legacy of Leaders, we talk with business leaders in the community who are making a difference for Jacksonville. Today, we have Jane Shannon of My Executive Solutions. Jane, thank you for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me, Dan. Jane, I know you've worked with and really advised a lot of young up and coming leaders and established leaders about how to become a better leader of their business. And, you know, the people watching today, you know, especially the younger leaders, what things would you recommend to them that they be thinking about as they try to progress in their careers and become an effective leader? Well, Dan, first of all, again, thank you for having me. Uh, as we work with high potentials and senior executives, the thing that most resonates in terms of advice is first, surround yourself with greatness. Be mm -hmm. very aware of the people around you. Be very aware of their energy and their thinking because your mindset will make the difference in terms of your career. If you are positive, if you have an attitude of giving, of giving back, of service, it will serve you well because people will be attracted to you and your energy, the way you manage stress, the way you lead through change matters significantly to your career. So it's really the team and, and motivating that team with the energy that you have. It is, it is infectious. When you bring what you are expecting of your team to them, if you give to them and expect of yourself more <laughs> of yourself than you do of them, it makes a significant difference in how they respond to you. Leadership is about connection. And it's really also, I guess you're saying, set the example. Absolutely. Set that example and set that bar high for yourself. Expect more of yourself than you believe you can even deliver because you will rise to those occasions. It, you have the power within you to be and do anything you set your mind to. So you mentioned about giving back, and I want to focus on that for a second, because I think you can talk about giving back to your team. Yes. You can talk about giving back to the business. You can talk about giving back to the community. Can you yes. expand upon that a little bit and the implications of that? Dan, it's all about all three, right? To, to first give to yourself so you are not at your lowest point, so that you hold 25% of your energy for you so you can re-energize yourself. Then it's about giving to your team and allowing your team the freedom along with the guidance to be successful themselves. And then to your community, Jacksonville is, a, is an amazing community to give back to. It is a place where you can make a difference. And there are so many areas, so many needs that the community has that you can deliver. And so for me, it's all about that giving back and being aware and focused on how you're doing that and how you show up in the community is just as important as how you're showing up in your industry. Yeah, I know from my own experience, Jane, I mean, it is, and I've heard this from other leaders that the more they have given to the community and the nonprofits, their businesses have flourished. I, I absolutely. presume you've seen the same. Oh, absolutely, Dan. It all comes back. It is all about why we're here, right? To, to give right. to other people. And so when you are in that mindset of gratitude, every bit of it comes back to you. And it's just a matter of being focused and being real and authentic and wanting to do the right thing. 
Well, Jane, thank you for joining me today. This has really been very helpful, and hopefully our viewers have gotten an understanding of really how they can help their team and give back to the community, which is so important to all of us. You at home, thank you for joining us this morning on Legacy of Leaders. I'm Dan Edelman, your host from Heritage Capital with Jane Shannon from My Executive Solutions. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate it.